we're back on the road today our goal will be Würzburg I'll try to get some Autobahn done today because the weather is really bad here and we should try to get some kilometers done on our way to Italy after Würzburg I have some plans for some beautiful roads uh, to look at I think it was good to yesterday call it an early night the hotel I had was quite good I had a really relaxed time the only thing is when I arrived there was no staff there was like a computer that I was able to make my reservation on uh, so that was good but then like uh, there was still music from the bar blasting but no one was at the bar and the next morning I came down and the same music was still blasting and there was still no one at the bar and I ordered breakfast but I couldn't get any breakfast there was no one there it was a bit weird but I, I, I tried to look for people there but then I realized I was completely alone in the hotel and the thing is behind the reception on the desk was uh, there uh, someone laid their jacket there but no one was there I was calling for people and stuff and also called the number at the reception but um, I didn't reach anyone well anyways so it will all be fine and we now need to get some food because I'm still really hungry and I needed some time to get going fixing the microphone and we will have to make some miles today because it snowed really heavily behind us in uh, the regions and the snow will be also coming to us and in my hometown uh, that is not that far away actually it snowed so heavily that the carport of my parents uh, collapsed so um, maybe we should then get going before it starts snowing here as well So, I now made my way to North Bavaria and I will now go onto the cross country road over Augsburg to Innsbruck in Austria. And I hope that on the cross country road you can also see some gorgeous landscape. To be honest, it's really cold, I'm really freezing. Yesterday this was still like fun in the Harz National Park with snow and everything, but now it's kind of just a suffering through all the way to Italy. But that is fine because it will increasingly get warmer I hope so let's go so we now have left Würzburg behind us and we're now on our way to Augsburg I turned on to this little side road to give you a little bit of a more beautiful look in general this is how the landscape looks here it's all pretty flat and farmland kind of really typical for Germany uh, but I expected it to be a little bit different because we are already in Bavaria and also um, I am currently on a road not on this road but like on the road that I'm ga generally going over that was recommended to me by a touring book it said that the road is really great and it's called the romantic road and to be honest this is not really getting me going <laughs> at all um, it's kind of mediocre at the moment and I mean that is fine it's uh, really cold at the moment and we're making our way to Italy but um, I just wanted to get into the topic that sometimes when you're on a motorcycle trip like that you have roads that are not as interesting or it cannot always be an adventure and that's something that I wanted to definitely say that they will be short little dry spells on tours like this I experienced this on my tour to Morocco and I'm currently experiencing that now a little bit it does not really bother me but if you have something like that it can create a feeling of loneliness at some point because you're not distracted by adventure and at the same time you're riding your motorcycle and that makes some people feel lonely me personally too and that can also make you feel a bit depressed at some point um, but to be honest that is completely normal that that happens that happens in general with traveling it's uh, 
something that happened to me. Currently it's not that bad, it's, it's still going fine, but because I currently have this little dry spell, I think it's a good opportunity to talk about it. This loneliness and r little weird feeling is actually good. It doesn't have to be associated with something bad, because you're basically having this moment where you're free from all outside influences, alone with your head, for quite a long time. And then this feeling of loneliness can come up. So I think if you reflect a little bit about where this feeling can come from, then it's much easier to um, work with. And also to, if you're on a tour and experience this feeling of loneliness, just maybe realize that it's mostly because you are doing one thing, you don't have a distraction and your head is for once alone with itself. And that is basically a healthy way of boredom in a sense. That is maybe something that we also sometimes need. So um, I think also this is where this whole talk about finding oneself when traveling comes from. Because uh, because the only thing to kind of keep you entertained is your own mind and that's when people do a lot of self-reflection so maybe this uh, little phase of boredom and feeling of loneliness is not even a bad thing also over there the sun is already setting a bit so we don't have much daylight left that's the thing with a trip during winter you don't have much daylight it gets dark so quickly Slow down, there's nothing to get you, you can always turn it around Oh, I, I, I shouldn't have met you, I only let you down Oh, now I, in your bedroom, my thoughts were thinking loud Oh, I, I shouldn't have met you, I shouldn't have let you Today we are making our last few kilometers in Germany because we have the goal of Innsbruck for today. And I'm so curious how the Alps will look and how we will manage because I imagine it to be still really, really snowy. In general, the goal for the day is to visit two different lakes that are supposed to be really beautiful. Slow down, there's nothing to get you, you can always turn it around. So, we are still on the romantic road, on our way to the Alpsee. You can already see the first few snowy peaks over there. They are covered in clouds, but you can already see them. And I can already see there's loads of snow on them. So, it will be interesting of how we get through all of that. Slow down, there's nothing to get you, you can always turn it around. I shouldn't have met you, I only let you down Oh night, in your bedroom, my thoughts were thinking loud Oh I, I shouldn't have met you, I shouldn't have left you So, we're now really close to the Alpsee, I can already see it This is a really famous lake here in Bavaria and we cannot continue. Let's find parking. Special motorcycle parking, that's how nice. Just need to get through this barrier of snow. As you guys can see, we made it to the Alpsee. It's still over frozen completely, but normally it's famous for its really clear water and it's really beautiful. And even though it's completely over frozen, I think the view is still amazing. And by the way, behind me is the Zugspitze, which is the highest point in Germany, but uh, it's not visible due to fog and we can't go up there because it's winter. I will now continue my way to Innsbruck. I think I will skip on the second lake because I'm really cold 
and want to get some food and also my friend is waiting and me and her will go for dinner so I'm looking forward to that and we'll make the last few kilometers to Innsbruck now. Slow down There's nothing to get you You can always turn it around Oh I, I I shouldn't have met you I only let you down So we are now in Innsbruck and we're getting treated with some sunny weather, which is nice. Honestly, the trip through the Alps so far was really incredible. The landscape was really beautiful and I really enjoyed it. Seeing all those incredible mountains, they're gorgeous, but they're also really intimidating at the same time because they're so tall. Also, I can feel it getting warmer. The sun here already feels way warmer than in Germany. And also on the way here, even though it was always cold and really freezing uh, you could feel that it was becoming a little bit better or maybe that was only a placebo effect, I don't know